Over the last four years, we have seen a decrease in local funding of over $7.2 million. So if, if this is going to be our local funding, we had to make cuts. And the only way to, to make that kind of a dramatic cut is personnel. When you look at the things that we're cutting, they don't all say teachers but they say stipends for this and stipends for that and they say middle school sports because that's stipends and freshman sports and weight rooms that's stipend, stipends for people that do that but it's for after school stuff most of it or a lot of it and that um, is not our core mission but you know I had an email the other day that said, um, I understand y'all got $360,000 that you weren't expecting from the state. Well, take that money and put it to these programs. Okay, and see that goes directly away from what we've been trying to say is, that doesn't solve the problem of having a sustainable, of getting to a sustainable budget. It doesn't fix the problem of not being able to buy school buses. Give us a chance. I've heard so much negativity directed at Dr. Lewis and at the board. None of this is because um, we don't care. Um, it's because we have to operate within our budget. And we have a program right now that's not, we can't operate within our budget. If, if there's not a... a a community outcry that says we believe education is worth another penny on the tax rate. Um, I, I don't. I don't see how this is going to change.